Hey guys, in this video, I'm gonna demonstrate sliding spot principle eight, where I show how to kick a ball out in the open table at slow speed and at medium speed using the slow speed test shot. If you want a high degree of accuracy at slow and medium speed, you're gonna to need to know your table's current conditions because you're gonna to need to know how far back the vanishing point for slow speed is from fast speed. And if you remember from my other videos, this can vary quite a lot. It can be a small window or a really big window, and that's gonna help establish if we don't know that window, we're not gonna be able to shoot accurately. So we're gonna use our slow speed test shot for that as I've shown in the past. This is gonna be from diamond six through 2.9. If it pockets on this track line, you are in the true playing conditions where the gap would be one and a half diff, uh, diamonds apart. So this is a slow speed test shot, six through 2.9. And it looks like my table's playing slightly long. Let me try six through three so I can establish my current playing conditions and how I would adjust for that. Six through diamond three, slow rolling cue ball pockets nicely. I have evidence right now my table is playing slightly long. I'm one tenth of a diamond longer than 2.9, so I'm one quarter of a diamond longer than that 1.5 neutral speed. This is my current playing conditions. You don't need these uh, to actually shoot in live play, but these are a teaching tool, and I'm gonna use this to show uh, a very visual way of how to adjust for slow and medium speed. First up, I'm gonna to try to kick the five ball at slow speed, and it's on the end rail, so it's out from the end rail. And if you remember from fast speed, uh, this adjustment, this is the basis, and we had to adjust the vanishing point closer to the table by uh, 80%. But it's different for slow speed. It's actually the, the other side, right? It's actually not by 80%, it actually adjusts by 120%. Don't ask me why, it's all my tests, I put all kinds of shots into basically Microsoft Excel spreadsheet, and then it just came out as 80% uh, for fast speed and 120 for slow speed. So let me show you how to do a 120% adjustment. So I'm still gonna do that 80% thing, but now what I'm gonna do this time, I'm gonna hold that 100%, right? This is my pinch for the basis. I'm gonna hold that with my thumb when I pivot. And instead of subtracting that number, I'm actually gonna add that number, because previously I just repinch at the 80%, but now what I have here, this gap is 20%. I, this is 20%, right? That's my 80% that I would use for fast speed, but now I need to add 20%. So this is 80%, 100%. I need this gap to be there. So what I would do is I just slide my thumb that way, I'd slide it that way, and I'm gonna just pull that 20% distance back, and now I should have 20% longer. I'll do that again, uh, but uh, what I wanna show you, this is 120%, and that's how much closer the tip needs to be. So normally my slow speed shot for these conditions, I'm 1.75 diamonds backwards, but now instead of putting the tip there, I need to put this 120% basis there. So now I have the 120% of the basis, and I'm gonna pivot over, and this is gonna be my slow speed for a full hit on the five. However, if I were to shoot that at medium speed, let's put it in a similar spot. Medium speed, I don't know if you remember, fast speed was 80%, sorry, yes, fast speed was 80%, slow speed is 120%. Take a wild guess what the basis adjustment would need to be for medium speed. You got it 100%. So I don't need to adjust this at all. That is 100% of the basis. Now remember, medium speed is halfway between the fast speed and slow speed spots. In this current conditions, I'm 175 out. It's hard to do that math in my head, but with the, the diagram here, I can see medium speed be, would be right in the middle. So I'm going to put the basis right at the middle of that spot, and now I'm going to shoot with a medium speed stroke. And I should have a reasonably full hit on the five. Of course, to hit a ball that's out from the rail that's that's going along this x-axis here, we need to do that adjustment where we slide to be a rail behind the ball. So let me put it all together for a slow speed kick shot on the five. Granted, it actually might not be a legal hit because something might not touch the rail, but I just wanna demonstrate the theory of it. So I'm gonna take my pinch. I need 20% more. Remember, 20% is gonna take my 80% procedure. I'm gonna put my thumb at the 100% and I'm gonna hold that spot, now I need to add the distance between my fingers to where my thumb is, so I'm gonna slide it back, 
pinch that. This is my slow speed adjustment from the slow speed point because I'm out from the long rail. And in these conditions, my slow speed spot is 1.7 to 5 diamonds. I know it's a lot, but again, it becomes uh, a routine once you figure it out. I'm gonna pinch this spot and this is gonna slide now and I need to be a rail behind the ball. So this shot, this should be the vanishing point for a slow speed hit on the five aiming. My goal is to hit it full, which will actually drive it into the long rail, uh, or towards the long rail. I might not actually get there. So slow speed. But of course, to do that at medium speed, I'm gonna use 100% of the basis. So let me set up the basis again. So the basis is from the nose of the rail to the back of the ball. I don't need to do an adjustment because medium speed doesn't need an adjustment. It's 100% of the basis is how I shift. So now, instead of putting my tip in the center of the speed window, I need to put the pinch at the center of the speed window. That's adjusted by the basis. So I've come closer to the rail based on that being further from the rail. I'm gonna pinch this and I'm gonna now come behind about a rail behind the ball. And again, I'm trying to do a full hit on the five. This is a medium speed stroke. And now I'm gonna demonstrate adding the idea of being at a really shallow angle into the rail where you need to be a quarter diamond further backwards. Let me do this all over again for slow speed. So I have my basis. I need 20% more. So I'm gonna do my 80% adjustment holding my thumb on the 100%. That's 80%, so 20% is the gap. I need to add that here. So now this is how much closer the tip should be. So normally slow speed vanishing point would be here, but because it's so far from the rail, my slow speed needs to be there. However, remember I'm shooting into the rail, so it slips off the rail a little more. So I need to be a quarter diamond backwards. Are you still with me? I understand this is a lot of calculation, but each one is as its own principle. Once you master each one, it's just sort of a, a, you just sort of layer it and it works. Now a quarter diamond further than 175 would be two. That's actually flush with the long rail. So I'm gonna put that here. This should be the slow speed vanishing point. Oh, I did something wrong. I also need to slide to be a rail behind. So now I'm a rail behind the ball. This would be the slow speed vanishing point for a kick on the five, relatively full. Looks around one point, uh, sorry, 2.7. Slow speed. Very nice. 